All right, let's get started. Director J.J. Abrams is currently out promoting his upcoming Star Trek Into Darkness, which opens in AMC theaters everywhere in about two weeks. However, Abrams is being bombarded by Star Wars questions wherever he goes. At a recent press event in Germany, Abrams was asked about the potential involvement of longtime Star Wars composer John Williams. Abrams has a longtime composing collaborator in Michael Giacchino. However, Abrams answered the question by saying Williams is most likely to return to score the new Star Wars. So, John, is it a good idea for Abrams to bring back John Williams instead of staying with the guy he usually works with? Um, you, you like to, you know, there's an old sports adage that says, dance with the one who brung you, you know, and, and you know, Abrams has had a lot of success working with Giacchino in the past. They, they've done some really great work together, but there's a simple truth here. If you can have anybody on the planet or John Williams, you go with John Williams. I don't care if you're talking about the guy who's gonna score your movie or the guy who's gonna fix that cavity in your tooth, you go with John Williams. John Williams is of course the answer. He, he is Star Wars music. The music of Star Wars is one of the characters of Star Wars and John Williams is that music. You have to bring him back. I mean, you didn't have to bring Harrison Ford back. You don't have to bring Mark Hamill back. You don't have to bring Carrie Fisher back. You can make a Star Wars film without those characters, but you must bring John Williams back unless he's dead then maybe you can do it without him. Maybe. I'd still rather his cold, dead corpse over 99% of the composers out there, but if you have him as an option, you go with John Williams. Schnepp, what about you? Yeah, absolutely. You can't do Star Wars without John Williams. I mean, the entire, like, Star Wars a long time ago, that's John Williams. You can't not have that. It's C-3PO, R2-D2. They're the constant in all nine of the movies. That's what was said like 30 years ago, and John Williams is the other constant. So, I mean, and it's not a slight to uh, to the composer Michael. It's like it's just like, yo, dude, you got to sit out on this one while I do Star Wars, and then I'll have you come back on my other movies. So, that's just how it's got to go. Yeah, I mean, it's like if I'm playing like a two-on-two -two basketball with a buddy of mine, and then all of a sudden LeBron James shows up, and my buddy says, "Hey, do you mind if I have LeBron on this one?" <laughs> what am I gonna say? No, I, I can do better. No, of course. There's no shame in sitting down for LeBron James. Right. In, in this case, like Giacchino say, hey, yeah, I, I didn't get to do this one with JJ, but he had to get John Williams in order not to use me. That's a badge of honor right there, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. All right, what's next? Yeah. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.